When a severe storm hits, hail and high-speed winds can cause excessive damage to your home. This can lead to blown off shingles, broken windows, siding damage, and leaking inside. If you suspect your home has been hit with storm damage, contact CNN Construction today. We are a proud GAF Master Elite contractor, offering free exterior home inspection for storm-related damages. CNN is a reputable licensed roofing and general contractor working hand-in-hand with insurance companies and homeowners every step of the way through the difficult claims and restoration process. We will meet with your insurance adjuster to discuss the damages to your property, the value of those repairs, and the scope of work needed at your home. Our skilled team has you covered and will leave your home looking brand new. Give us a call today at 844-415-ROOF or visit our website at cnroofs.com for a free exterior inspection. CNN Construction. We find the solutions, not the excuses. Hang on a second, guys. One, 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 one second. What up? We've got to give a shout out to South Nashville Heating and Cooking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Friend and supporter of Show and Proof. Also, the longest running sponsor of I Got Some Shit to Say, the podcast. Absolutely. Look, man, South Nashville Heating and Cooling, where quality and craftsmanship come together. They've been doing this since 1985. That's almost 40 years of service. Expert designs, quality installations, superior service. Absolutely. And let me tell you something. What's that? Tell me. I feel confident in the fact that South Nashville Heating and Cooling will keep me warm in the winter. For sure. I'm It'll sure. keep me cool in the summer. Absolutely. Big Matter of fact, these middle months, you'll yeah. be comfortable even then. Absolutely, Absolutely, dude. Y'all know the deal, man. South Nashville Heating and Cooling, we love those guys. Y'all see the name, y'all see the number, tap in. Feliz Cumpleamos. <laughs> Always. Stop! Stop! It's I Got Some Shit to Say to Podcast, man. We're back like we don't stop, because trust us, we never do. All we do is work. Y'all know me. Fuck you, squints. That's right, R.I.P. Whizzle fizzle. Forever and always. Uh, with me as usual, right next to me, my best friend in the whole fucking world, we got... ChadOrbsTV.com. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, 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 yeah. God, that was fucking epic. Uh, Chad, before we get started... Mm-hmm. Have you or have you not, and this is on the spot, he hasn't heard this question, have you heard Peaches yet? Jack Black, yeah, Peaches. Yes. yes, when you sent me that visual. Have you worked on it? No, but I will. <sighs> but I have heard it, and it's majestic. <sighs> it is, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, I actually started to send you a clip yesterday of like a live performance from Tenacious D, and he was singing, uh, fuck, I can't remember, but it's, he kills it, and it, it made me think of you immediately. Tenacious Day's great. Him and Kyle Gass dude, are great. Dude. The fact that you knew the other guy's name, oh, you just yeah, man. flexed on I, it. I used to have their DVD that they put out. And DVD, used, what's that? It's a digital video disc. Uh, oh. They got popular in the late 90s. Oh. Uh, they were kind of super, you know, they sort of like a dustbuster. Yeah, they superseded the VHS, which is uh, a super set tape. Yes. Um, and then, you know, bef- in between VHS and DVD, you had the laser disc. VHS. What does that stand for? Um, vehicular helicopter suicide correct um I'm, I'm curious though i really don't know digital to video. Google to machine. The Google machine. Uh, when you said dvd and you said digital video disc i'm like wow okay that is what that stands for but vhs uh, mm-hmm. for our listeners and watchers don't know what the fuck that is for our watchers i can't really show you but for our listeners it's uh like chad said it, it was a oh video home system oh okay that's stupid fun fact that's the dumbest shit I, I ever heard. Actually, well, no, because it's VHS tape or VHS cassette. So, video home system cassette. Yeah. God, what if that's abbrevi- how you know we were? That's back in the day. What if everything was long? What if abbreviations didn't exist and everything was long like that? Yeah, do you have Scarface on video home system cassette? <laughs> like I didn't hear you a month ago when you started talking. I shot Scarface on video home cassette because of it. What? It was such a long movie that they had to put it on dual tapes like Titanic, dude. Yes, facts. Shout out Titanic. Um, Yes. I I don't know. And then like the Star Wars, because I'm a big Star Wars geek. We all know this. And I had the fucking, the original three. Then it Mm -hmm. was like a box set. but 30 tapes? Yes. Uh, Not really. It was only three. But you could like, you know, looking at your VHS collection from across the room, Mm -hmm. you could clearly tell if someone owned Star Wars or not because it was the one that looked like a fucking box of cereal. Yeah. Horrible reference. No, no, that's how they were, bro. Shout out to my shirt. 
Hell yeah, Forever, Forever 29. 29. Shout out, sis. Shout out, sis. RP Nate. RP Nate. And, uh, but yeah, VHS tapes were, I, I remember Scarface had that one, the Star Wars. Yeah. The, um, the Titanic. Who, what else did we have? It was a bunch of other ones. Well, any box set. Yeah. What about when you would put, when you would put the DVD, or DVD, the VHS in and have to rewind it? Dude. I had the worst fucking VHS system ever when I was a child. And oh, it took so long. So long, yeah. dude. Like, you could literally, you know how if it, if the video was playing and you hit rewind, it would go like, you could, it would rewind, but it would yeah. rewind at a speed that was like almost annoying. You know what I mean? Like, very, yeah. almost like real time times two. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Uh, our home video player literally would rewind as fast as it would when it was on. Oh, yeah. So you're, if you're, yeah, you're watching a, Two hour movie, it's rewinding, takes an hour, hour. to put another one in. Yeah. And I remember back when video stores used to cash in on that dollar, yeah. dollar, dollar fee or yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you don't rewind, be kind, rewind. Be, if, they used to sticker the tapes. Yeah, be kind, look, rewind. If you don't, and that's what's so funny is back then, I remember you could rent movies for five nights for five bucks. A Hell yeah. Night. And then, you know, like the video tapes in the day, back in the day where everything because most of the time if you were a kid going into the store it was amazing you were doing you were getting the movie based on what the VHS cover looked like facts because back then there was no internet there was no you didn't know what trailer you didn't see name, trailers okay here you go since you're a movie buff name a great movie with a horrible cover ooh that'd be interesting to like really look, to like really tap into and like look at some of the greats and be like look how shitty that cover was because like yeah. Chad said like from a marketing aspect, like it had to be appealing mm. because, like, yeah, like Chad said, like as a kid, like most of your decisions in a in a video store somewhat were based off the way that fucking box looked, especially horror movie. Like growing up watching Look at this horror one. movie, yeah, like, Look, yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's crazy. Uh, Critters, remember Critters? That case, oh, yeah. that little dude on the front, dude. Fun fact, okay. Leonardo DiCaprio's acting debut was in one of the Critters sequels. Really? Absolutely. That is a fun. And fact. then it shit got weird once they went to space. Anytime the horror movies start going yeah. to space, anytime, we're in trouble. Anytime any franchise <laughs> goes to space, yeah, it dude. seems to be, and it's not disaster. in space at the origin of the of the series. Nope. Um, they like, just end up there. Jason Voorhees. Uh, we're back. Sorry for the bullshit. Uh, fun fact. Don't you hate... So what just happened? And I'm going to put her out there a little bit. But I literally... Me and Chad sat down to record this episode today. Kind of spur of the moment. Because in reality, we've been stacking a little bit of content for you guys because I'm on vacation. Mm. Uh, now, when this is airing, I'm back. Welcome back. Right? But in reality, uh, this is the day... Yeah, it's crazy. But this is pre-recorded. But... We have a 2 o'clock set up for appointment. We have a 5 o'clock later internal episode. But me and Chad, the time right now is about 12.45. Mm -hmm. So me and Chad were like, hey, let's get one in real quick. That way, when I get back from vacation, we're not hustling and bustling to get y'all new content. Shout out hustling and bustling. Shout out hustling and bustling. So Amy is currently not here. She stepped out. She took Hartley. Uh, they went to Target and run some errands. Mm -hmm. But literally 20 minutes ago, I texted her and I said, hey, I'm home from David Manning. Shout out David Manning for the fresh cut. Very fresh. Uh, I'm back. Mm. Chad's here. We're going to record, so don't come in the side door. Go through the front, because yeah. we're going to get to work. Yeah. It was literally about 20 minutes ago. She didn't respond, uh, so the first eight minutes y'all just witnessed were me and Chad sitting down to do exactly what I text Amy to tell her. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, that first segment abruptly came to an end because Amy decided to call me and tell me, Nothing. Hey, Nothing. Man, it's all good, though. It is all good. I yeah. love the woman more than anything. But, dude, the fact that I text you so you wouldn't interrupt the episode, you called. Maybe it's just because she didn't see it, and then she saw no, it. No, she did. She admitted that she saw it. Oh. She said uh, her, the first <laughs> words out of her mouth. Well, like I said, I'm just putting yeah. her out there. I'll probably get in trouble for this, but I don't care. I said, yes, honey. She said, oh, sorry. I was just trying to catch you before you started. Mm -hmm. Again, it had been about 20 minutes since I've texted her. I didn't text her like waiting to start. I texted her when we were about to start. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, nope, we started, but it's irrelevant now. What's up? And she says, oh, well, uh, I was nothing. I was just calling. <sighs> Sorry, nothing. 
honey, uh, we've stopped now, so you might as well tell me why you called. Right. And she tells me, uh, she says, well, nothing really. I was just calling to tell you no, to let you know what we were doing and that I'll be home soon. Hey, man. I know. I'm not looking for you at you for justification. I'm just yeah. looking at you to understand my frustration. No, man. I, it's it's all good. Honey, when I say I'm recording the podcast, don't call my phone. Oh, with that being said. Shout out relationships. Shout out relationships. Especially solid ones. Shout out Amy. Shout out Amy for sure. Shout out Hartley. Shout out Hartley. Lily. The whole, Lily, the whole family. Uh, fun Lily, fact. Come come on, she's Mom. here too, man. Hell yeah. They're man. all here. Kamora needs to be singing. She does. Uh, that's also an interesting topic today because of our guest at two o'clock. Let's not reveal who that is, oh, but yeah. our guest at two o'clock. I would love for Kamora to be a part of that episode, maybe late or sit in a little later and meet that young woman because I think that'd be interesting. It would be, It'd be uh, very interesting. So, like I mentioned, we're stacking content. Shout out Chatty Bobby getting here a little early so we can give y'all this little extra episode because this is airing on a Monday. Uh, the twenty, I don't know. It's on down the road. To the calendar. So, yeah, to the calendar. It's like the twenty sixth, twenty seventh, maybe. It's gonna be the twenty sixth, twenty sixth of June. So, I got something for you. Go ahead. Flowers. Yes. Single and music video June thirtieth. Oh. Premier link below. Ooh. Bitch. Shout out Fade Eastwood. Shout out City Paper. Absolutely. Shout out CP that directed yes. the video. Shout out to everybody that was out there. Shout out to Squizzles, One, Mel, uh, um, Sis. Sis. Um, shout out to everybody, man. Yeah, shout, shout out to, everybody. to, the, shout shout out to Callie for pulling up. Yeah, shout out cameos. to Rookie. Uh, yeah, that's a great video. Uh, that's awesome. I didn't – I forgot the 30th. It's shout so, out Real, too. Yeah, shout out Real. It's so, it's so weird when we do these things like pre, the podcast, when we do them like premeditated and we have to talk about things that haven't happened yet or we have to reflect on things that happen, haven't happened yet. Yeah. Uh, literally. So, yes, Flowers. The thirtieth, premiere link below. Tap the fuck in, mm. leave a comment, all that good shit. Help us with the algorithms. The video's fire. The song is fire, and uh, yes, it's true. Chatty brought out the goats on this one. City Some paper legends brought the legends on back to the to the forefront. Yeah, it's a fun video too. Uh, but you know, we're recording this a week ahead of time when we're talking. We're, we're recording this like it's June twenty sixth, and mm-hmm. it's really not. And we're talking about the thirtieth being a few days away. Mm-hmm. It's really not, but it is so fucking trippy. What I was getting at is something that's also crazy is like when this comes out, I just got back from vacation. Mm-hmm. But when we're recording this, I leave in a couple days. Yeah, the internet's crazy. It's man. fucking weird. So I can't tell you all if my vacation was good or not. Yeah, you, you had a good I'm not, time. In uh, reality, I'm not back yet, but to y'all, I am. And in the real world, I am. It's so fucking true. We need to get Doc Brown and bring the time machine. Yes, that's what I'm getting at. Ultimately, this should be about time travel. No, it's not. Are you a fan of movies about time travel? Yes. You are? Yeah. So, did you love all three Back to the Futures? Eh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Favorite one, go. Two. Of course. Who wouldn't say two? You got to be a weirdo not well, to say two. Well, I think... Cause one is of, great, though. Yeah, I love one and two. Three is okay. It just... It, I, I don't watch that near as much, but I think two, I think, is so cool because it's futuristic. And what's so funny is it's 2015, right? Really? And that's that, the year they, they project? Go, yeah, they go to 20, 2015. Wow. There they've got like flying cars. All and, that shit. And stuff. But, you know, they, they're they way ahead. You know, we're not doing that in 2023. No. But some of the stuff, it, it's just fun to go back and watch that. No, definitely. I totally understand. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite movies is sort of like that. It's like a futuristic go back in time type shit. It's got Ben Affleck in it. Mm-hmm. And he leaves like this uh, package. You would, should be able to tell me this because uh, you're a movie guy. Payback, mm-hmm. paycheck, paycheck, pop, mm-hmm. pay, pay, pay something, pay something. Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck. And he, he like does like, he comes back or something and it was like this envelope and he left this envelope and it's got tons of clues in it about shit he's going to like experience or go through. I'm not crazy, but I'm going to say it's about time travel, but I love the movie. I just can't remember the title of it. Paycheck? That's it. Okay. I've never seen that, dude. Dude, watch I that movie. I'll have to get it. What does the movie. rating say? Oh, let's see. Six, uh, 6.3 out of 10. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, for for IMDb, yeah. That's what I was going to ask because I'm I, obviously if you if I tell you a movie's six out of ten, you're gonna be like, eh. But if, uh, oh, that's old school. Yeah, you got Aaron Eckhart and Uma Thurman. In yeah, that. check that movie out, Chad. It's really dope because it's one of those. It's like that. It's it's my kind of time travel movie to where he like he can't like he gives like clues in this envelope. I don't know. It's really yeah, yeah. trippy. I can't even remember the plot of the movie or if it's 
really about time travel. I've just been making shit up right now. No, well, I'll check it out. I remember that that digital video disc cover. Oh yes, day. hell yeah. That came out when I worked at Media Play. And shout I out Media saying, Play. We shout out Media Play a lot, dude. It was. I mean, I worked there for my first. I mean, my first job obviously was service merchandise. Yeah, we just talked about sack. this. Yeah, uh, and then Kmart, but like Media Play. Circuit City, Radio Shack, those yeah. the Blockbuster, those places get continuous shout outs here when I got some shit to say. Dude, what's so funny is when I worked for Media Play and then they got bought out, right? So when Media Play was on the way down, Best Buy bought out Music Land, which was Media Play, Sam Goody, Sun Coast, and then this bookstore. God, Chatty were. dropping facts. Yeah. Well, it was so funny because whenever I would start getting my paychecks back then when Best Buy bought us, it would say Best Buy. But it, we were media play, right? They owned. Oh, it was said on your paycheck. Yeah, and you gotcha. could we could go get discounts at Best Buy as media play employees. Hmm. And uh, I just thought that was funny because every time we would go there, we would get like the stink eye from Best Buy Shout employees. Because they're like, why are these motherfuckers getting our discount? Yeah, for real. And then, then you know you don't they, work here. They went out of business. Uh, like five I, or something. Was Best Buy a thing before media play went down? Oh yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, we did not yeah, know that. They were were they, they a thing here? Yeah, there was the one in Rivergate. Was, tripping. It, I remember it opened up while I was there, I think, and then Circuit City opened up right across the street from us. I was like, we're in trouble. Uh, here's, we didn't price match nothing. It was. Yeah. Here's another fun fact. Uh, when Chatty worked at Best Buy, which you did, right? Oh, yeah. This uh, That was during Chad's two-year break, mm -hmm. right, where he, like, cut everybody out or he, like, cut everybody off and, like, shut down the world. Yeah, disappeared, yeah. Uh, fun fact, though. When I wanted to see Chatty, that's where I'd go. Yep. I'd pull up on him at work. Yeah, because I started working at Best Buy the year that I came back uh, to society. Mm. I worked. I worked at the. I worked factory job up through all that other time. But um, Chad's hair was so long, dude. It, it was. It was, Squints hated it so bad, hated dude. It. I fucking hated it, dude. I looking back, I hated it. I'm like, uh, what long, was I doing? You just bro? being lazy. He just didn't want. He didn't even want to go get a haircut. No, it, it, that yeah. shit was literally. Past his shoulders. Yes, it was as long as Amy's hair. That's crazy, bro. Look at the long hair. Amy's hair is like what, right? Isn't it like shoulder length? That's a little bit longer. It's like middle of her back. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, it was shoulder length hair. Shot ponytails. Shout out long hair, don't care. Long hair, don't care. Uh, dude, and I'll never forget when I cut that off. I was like, I'm going to donate it. And I didn't donate it. What are you going to donate? Is that I don't, like a big for thing? Lovers. I don't know. Somebody said it was. I guess that's a thing. I had, the, I had my long hair ponytail like in a box for a little bit. Donating hair just don't make weird? donating hair don't make sense to me because of the fact that there's haircuts every day. I don't know. I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. I know that I had the ponytail for a good little minute yeah. and I got weird it got weird when I kept it long. <laughs> so I was like, let's just throw it away. What are we why are we saving this? I it started to kind of like I've got a clip on my phone somewhere is when me and Amy lived at the condo in Antioch. We were in Nashville Village. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chad pulls up for the first time in like forever. 11 years. Yeah, yeah. and I, I open the door and you see a clip of Chad for like one second. And then I slam the door in his face. Mm -hmm. Like it's real fast. But that was everybody's first glimpse of you like mm -hmm. coming back out. Coming out, pause. But the Chad's, Chad's hair is so fucking long, dog. I want to say that's on my Instagram. I need to look. Dude, but. it may be. It was twenty. I mean, I came back in twenty July of twenty fourteen, so it was probably around that. time. It's got to be that time because the, the video says, "Oh shit, look who's back" or something like that. It has to be Instagram now that I'm thinking about it. Because it was. I remember you and Brandon E were really trying to get me to come back, Shout and then Brandon Chance e. found my my wrestling YouTube channel. Hell yeah! And it was back when YouTube had messages. You can't even have that no more. And he, well, you could like DM somebody. Yeah. Oh, really? That was back in like the early days before Google like bought them. It was, the like, olden days. And uh, but yeah, man, that was a that was a weird time. And then I cut my hair, and then I said, "Shit, I want to grow it back out." So I grew it back out again. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. You're bored as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I have nothing else to do. Then when it got this gray, I was like, "No, nah, it's time to stop." Yeah. <laughs> now I mean look at it reminds yeah. me of that dude that worked for Brendan Chobb oh Mark Harley yeah he's got long we have the ass. same like body structure too we both have the I same, was gonna like, muscles say, same by, side by side minus yeah. the beard <laughs> yeah that, but that got that got I was wondering what that was I just hiccuped and did oh. something else shout out Bert and Ernie yeah shout out Bert and Ernie I said <laughs> were they gay uh, I think they were related oh well I want to say Ernie was the nephew of Bert Really? Bert's the skinny one. Yeah, the tall, skinny one. No. Yep. Is it? Bert's Bernie's the, the fat one. 
Okay. So Ernie's a fat name. I, I mean, got the hiccups, name, bro. If your name's Ernie, you're, I mean, chances are you Fuck got a belly. the hiccups, bro. Dude, who was it that had the hiccups for like a year we looked up? Remember somebody like... like a, that would suck. Somebody had the hiccups for a year. It was like a celebrity. I had... I don't know. Can you imagine? No, I couldn't. If I have them for five minutes, I have a panic attack. Dude, I get so mad. I hate them. The other night, though, I drank Dr. Pepper for the first time in forever. Oh, you're going to have hiccups for a month. The first sip I took out of Dr. Because we got a fridge right over here, and it stays stocked with like random shit. Mostly yeah. Mountain Dew, because we love Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Hell yeah, that was good. Sorry. But uh, I took a sip of Dr. Pepper, and it... Uh, Made me uh, had the most aggressive hiccups I think I've ever had as like an adult, to where I was so frustrated, bro. I kept holding my breath. I was turning blue in the face. Chad, get your dick out the phone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's what my granddad used to say. Message fun fact. Guy back. Get your fucking dick out the phone. Get your dick out the phone. Yeah, like we said though, thirtieth flowers. In reality, this is another time warp. Uh, mm-hmm. We just got the first draft of flowers. That's. I'm so glad we spoke on that, considering it's four days away. Man. Another thing, too, like dropping flowers on June 30th is another step closer to Live Forever, Facts. the album. Um, now, obviously, we've already got a few songs that have been released that, that'll that go on the album. The one me and Lex did, Kimasabi, of course. Yes. Um, and, uh, uh, work. Uh, not work. Uh, live Forever. Live Forever with me and Church, yeah. Shout out to Lex, shout out to Church. But this, this one, this album is going to be feature heavy, but it's it's on purpose, and it's because... I just I love the record. I love the album, man. Yeah, and like, so it's coming far, together it's, nice, guys. It's, yeah, it's we're getting we're rounding third on it. We're we're about to be rounding third on that some bitch. So y'all stay tuned, man. Mm. Yeah, because like without revealing too much, as I think of like how they're stacking up. Yeah, there's some there's some hitters on there, bro. Uh, that goes for anyone with the rep and show and prove though. They don't oh, stop. Man, all, like, yeah, there's so much shit coming. Thing. We have to continuously mention that every episode, like a you know, it's like an ongoing fucking ad campaign, but. And We're allowed to do that. I'll announce this too because I definitely decided this. Me and Wizzle's song "Origami." That's gonna be the final song on the album. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, man. R. I didn't Wizzle. know that. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my new Yeti. Hell yeah! I was Look sitting there that. thinking, I was like, man, I got, I can't do an album called "Live Forever" and not put Wizzle on it. Yeah, it makes sense. And that song, you know, obviously that never went on an album. It went on like the little a little compilation thing, but. I figured that'd be a fitting like way to like end that project. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. So, uh, where was Origami came out by itself, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. We um, we recorded it was just a single. Yeah, it was just a single. That was a mouthful. It was yeah. just a it was single. Just a single. A sizzle on single. Uh, no, nah, absolutely. It should be a bonus track on Live Forever. And what was so cool about that song, man, is when I sent Worm that track, it was just the verse and the hook, and I was going to write another verse or do something else with it. I sent it to him, and I was, he was like, Chatty Bobby, you going to kill me with this one? I got to rap fast and shit. I, Wizzle don't rap fast. And he snapped on there, dude. Yeah, he really did. I love that song. Yeah, that song was awesome, man. And, of course, Lex did a great job with the uh, Mix Master because always we recorded that at Lex's empty house, so it was super echoey. Fun fact. And Lex, went he went super hard on the mix and, of always. course, Dub produced it, but I love that song, man. Uh, yeah, it's a great record. Yeah. Uh, but to your point, never was released on a major project or, like, mm-hmm. you know, the little ultimate collection, I threw it on there, but that's not that wasn't a major project or nothing. It was just a, like a playlist. ultimate collection, as it should be there. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Uh, but yeah, a timeless song. It should definitely be on Live Forever, <laughs> especially when you, you the name of the album, like you said, that's so uh, fitting. Yeah, absolutely, man. And uh, there's some there's some there's some fire ass features on the album, man. I mean, I just named some, but yeah. there's some other ones that y'all don't know about that are uh, yeah, exactly. When I was thinking off in a minute, and I was talking about how the the records were stacking up for it. Uh, mm-hmm. I didn't want to mention any, but at the same time, when you when I'm thinking about other things that are a part of Live Forever, yeah, it's going to be an amazing project. But like I said, that comes with that Sean Bruce style. Uh, shout out Wire for Good. Uh, recently, we got back from Bowling Green, Kentucky, for a show. They booked, yeah. they booked the squad. They booked uh, one Chad and Leroy yep. out for the Wire to Good event out in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, I pulled up. Me and Twack pulled up together uh, yeah. day of, and it, it, bro, it was a blast. We had a good time there. Uh, there's some awesome, footage. Uh, Chad has recently released some footage of that event, and yeah. uh, that was fun. It was really good to be back on stage with you guys and shaking it. The man, old- it, it was it was awesome, man. Like, and I love the way that video turned out. Like, I was able to piece together a dope little 15 minute vlog or whatever. Yeah, and uh, the team showed up and showed out, man. And I, I appreciate to I appreciate you know JB and Jordan for for booking us. And- Absolutely. 
uh, having faith in us, and yes. they said that they already want us to come back and headline next year. So nope, we'll awesome. be there. Uh, yeah, it was, it was yeah. a good experience. But at the same time, uh, yeah, shout out to those guys, and shout out to everyone we met in attendance and all yeah, that good out, stuff. We had a good time. It was a really, yeah. really fun atmosphere. Yeah, shout out to uh, to everybody. Shout out to Sis for she had her booth yes. set up, and, uh, you know, they had the – had everything out there popping, man, the yeah. 29 stuff. So. And when this comes out, you know, that was a couple of weeks ago. But mm-hmm. in reality, I'm speaking on it because uh, I got I saw the video today, the video that yeah. we were talking about, the vlog or whatever that Chad posted. We'll I, put I that recently in the watched too. it. Yeah, check I'll that check out. That out. Uh, it was fun, though. Uh, but to the capacity to of, like, our performance setting, the fact that you uh, and one had a set, Leroy had his own set, mm-hmm. but we all were there as, like, a unit, and then me and Twack were able to, to pull up as well. And then – Another fun fact, shout out Rostein. Uh Rostein came oh, yeah. through, save the fucking day MVP, as far as some man. audio components go, last minute type shit, because the performer before us, we ain't saying no names. Uh it got something got weird, man. Something got weird. Happened. It was a misunderstanding or something got weird, but w- there was an audio malfunction. Yeah. We were the, we were about to be without audio. Yes, with the 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 person that went on before us, when they left, they had took something with them that was fucking up the audio. The DJ, so, the DJ equipment. There it is. Yeah, uh, they bring their own DJ. Yeah, that's some all. That's some, a different type of discussion. But anyway, yeah. shout out Sam Rothstein. Luckily, he was with us in attendance. Was able to save the day like he always fucking does when there's audio Man. issues. Uh, he's done this MVP, for us before. Uh, yes, uh, that's why I'm speaking on it. But at the same time, uh, to have all of us, even Rothstein there, because mm-hmm. uh, once once the audio got back going, and it wasn't like a major delay. Thanks to Rothstein, it was literally five minute delay. It seemed like maybe ten. But uh, he uh, he sat up there and, and controlled the audio during our set. You know what I mean? So give mm-hmm. him like that DJ role for that. Mm-hmm. And bro, there was like moments of that st- of us being up there, but Bubba, where I was just like, uh, I had fun. Like it, like it, it, mm-hmm. it just took me back to like some of the fun was fun. And, ugh, why can't I talk? Some of the funnest moments of my life. Yeah, uh, were during the Rutledge days and just days where we were so active as far as performing mm-hmm. and to a. Uh, I got a taste of that that night. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. it was just fun. Uh, we had a few drinks and and was able to share the stage, a big stage. It was just uh, took me back, and I had a moment. And I'm glad. I glad. I'm glad that <laughs> later in life that you know yeah. I just turned 41 years old. Yeah, and I I had that moment where I saw it and I appreciated it, but then I appreciated it even more knowing that I was 41 years old. That I was about to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, bro, to be up here and still rocking after not doing it on stage like that for so long to that capacity and just, uh, you know, with the, the same guys I've always done it with mm-hmm. and people still appreciate it and, and, you know, absorb it and fucking it entertain people. Yeah, man. Like, that shit was so, like, trippy for me. It really was. Yeah, me too. And, and the thing about it was – I thought we did a solid job, like considering we hadn't performed together. I mean, that's the what I'm al- saying. The album release was what it was. The yeah. audio in that place was awful. Facts. Um, the stage wasn't big. It was wired mics. We Facts. were limited in what we could do. But wired mics suck. Shout shout out to 404 at the time because they they facilitated that and we yeah. we had a good time. Absolutely. But this was an actual set where we could the lighting. Killer. The girl that did the lighting killed it. The sound was great. Smoke like if you look, and shit. Yeah, if you look at the visuals, like they did a really good job making us look like something up there. But we did a good job, I feel like, considering we didn't rehearse. Now, honestly, yeah. we're fixing to get booked for some shows in the fall, and it's going to be a different story. Y'all stay tuned for that. But yeah. we've, got, we've got some stuff to work on, but I just love the fact that we, considering we didn't, perf- like, you know, like practice – or nothing. The fact practice. that we were still on. We're talking about practice. Like we and I was gassed, bro. Like two Teddy of the went songs. Hard though, dude. Yeah, I went hard, but like I need to do a better job. Well, for one, I got to get in better shape, which I'm working on that. That's a way to do it. But two, I got to remember that like I got to pace myself. Mm. And I was going so hard at the beginning that by song five, I was like, "Hey, Rostin, skip that. One. We'll, we won't do that one." And then uh, we made the choice to do hibachi. Well, we I said I made the choice. That's not a performal performer song. Performer song, no, because it's it, not. there's no breathing room. Like uh, it's one punchline after the other. You know what I'm saying? And like uh, shit, I told Chad on stage like during that song, like bro, I can't remember none of this shit. 
Yeah. Well, but I'm so abso- we got so absorbed in Joe and Jerry to take it back to dedicated. Yeah. And not go with like the singles. Yeah. Was but I love Hibachi. I love. That I do too. But, but it's not. I just don't think it's one that needs to be performed. A thousand would have done better because it's more of a Facts. performance song. And we talked about that like later that night. Yeah. And I didn't. That was me just thinking. Oh, I'll do this, and then not yeah. even telling him. So he just was found out like two days before. But like we're gonna get a whole when this these shows coming up in, in the fall. We're gonna work on a full set, and I'm gonna get Rothstein to like make us a full. Facts. It was just shaking the rust off, though. Like that's that all said, it was. The, the, album, the yeah. album release was kind of like just jumping back into it, mm-hmm. as far as the performance aspect goes. Uh, but uh, long story short, in, in reality, I found my so, myself in in a moment on stage. Mm-hmm. Where I was like, God damn, boy, we having fun doing this shit. Yeah. Like it just it just took me back to a place in my life where I. It was different, you know what I mean, and that doesn't mean I want to rap more or anything like that because I just enjoy that. Yeah, well, and I still fun. we still did in a minute, and that was fun. And you snapped. You got like people were like cheering and shit after your verses, dude. Uh, there was a couple moments though for all of us where people were like cheering. It's just about yeah. the the verse, I think. And what what's because it's non stop and you killed it. Uh, but one did the same shit, and so did you. I think it's on that vlog thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, fun shit. stupid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, went yeah, stupid. yeah, yeah. Swag did his thing. Yeah, yeah. Leroy did his thing. Yeah. Le- shout out Leroy because you know Leroy's still coming. Yeah, he back. Went, he shouldn't even been out there. No, but he he did a three song set and and shook it. He did a great job. He did uh, Run with the Wolves. He did Creek thing. He did Crown and Coke, which I thought were three dope songs to pick. Always. And uh, he ended up having to leave afterwards just because he was, you know, just needed to get get some rest, but. We shook it, man. I loved I loved the the whole weekend. We had a good time, man. Yeah. Y'all tell y'all's local promoters, Chatty Bobby, O and E, Leroy Biggs, available for booking now. Highlight us, Twack as well. Yeah, Twack as well. Yeah, highlight us, man. Uh, definitely yeah. do that. But uh, yeah, Leroy FaceTimed me earlier today and let me hear some new shit and mm-hmm. it's just dope. He'll let me hear it too. Yeah, he'll be here. He'll? Huh? Mm-hmm. He let you hear it too? I thought you said he'll be here at two. I was like, wait a minute, he's no. part of the two two p.m. No, 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 no. no. He'll said, be here later. Yeah, I said he let me hear it. Fun too. fact. Uh, yeah. What else? Man, favorite. Uh, Not favorite. Nothing. You want to hear some great news? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Hartley pissing on the potty, bro. Oh shit! Hell She's yeah. She's done it less than I, I probably can't count on one hand how many times she has, but it's like a thing now, and like she's she knows it's an achievement. She's talking shit. Like the last four and five, like she's she like, guess what? I pee peed in the potty, dude. I'm so hyped to like me and Hartley are such good buddies that I can't wait till she's like, I love I, I love her to death. But when she gets to where she's like, can wipe her own ass? Well, that and just be able to hold like legit full conversations. It's getting there, great. dude. Yeah, it's getting uh, there. Yeah, Hartley's. A, you know, she just turned three, but you, any parent knows that like a, a toddler goes through like this little stage where it's like, golly, like. I can hear what she said. Like she's like, yeah. she's at that's like major development stage, like mental, where she's talking crazy though. Mm. She's just saying some of the craziest shit though. She's smart as sh- she's smart as shit, right? Too. And that's that's always been a a thing in discussion. But uh, it's it's crazy to hear her talk that shit about pissing in the potty. So there's that. Uh, I'm anxious for that though because in, in reality it just shaves off the overhead, bro. Diapers. Yeah. You cut diapers out of this deal. Yeah, what are diapers hit for? Shit, bro. Like just the the regular package is like twenty bucks, and that I think that gives you like forty something. That lasts what a week. Google machine it. I don't want to boast it. I buy the shit all the time, but there's different. We Google machine it. Uh, just type in diapers and shopping or whatever or what, and it'll show you like quantity packs. But there's like a forty four, I think, and it's twenty bucks. But there's tiers. There's like a soft pack's like twelve dollars, or then like the first box is twenty. They like tear up and down. But that's overhead, bro. And that shit's like a week. Think how many times you and for a toddler, they're pissing. It ain't just about, it ain't just about walking around shitting your pants, bro. Like the kids are pissing. Shitting your pants. Yeah, for sure. But the kids are also pissing. So fuck it. Every time they piss, yeah. you're pissing yourself. Oh, uh, forty four of them? Yeah. Twenty eight dollars at Target. Twenty eight dollars. So and Those bro, are Pampers, cruisers, whatever that means. Yeah, it means they're waddling, bro. They're moving around a lot. But okay. the fucking uh waddling. thirty dollars every week i guess so I mean, it's probably less than a week a month it's probably like every five six days imagine spending 125 bucks a month on underwear dude that's exactly so exactly yeah, bro that's, that's true. so why that's why you become the biggest cheerleader for your 
bro, and that's the last one, dude. That kid better. I'm so anxious for her to jump on the potty, dude. But she's getting now. Where, she, like I said, she's understanding. It's like a celebration type deal. You get on there and do your thing. You're gonna get like a reward. You know. Yeah, she get like some gummy worms or something. Yeah. You know, it's fucking chocolate over here. The kid, they, like her obsession with candy is undeniable. Chad I, learned that the hard way. Well, I think I was the contributing one of the contributing factors to that because yeah. I always gave her candy. He woozled her. Um, because I, yeah, right. I got in trouble one day. Your mom got got on to me because she had already eaten a bunch. And I yeah, she'll go and she'll go around the house though and ask people. Yeah, she got me. She got me. But then she got dude, me, dude. Now she's doing this shit. Please, yep, see that manipulative oh, stuff. Fuck. Look at look out, yeah, look dude. out. She's adorable, so that don't help. But yeah, no, it doesn't help at all. We just wanted to uh, jump on here and squeeze one out. Look, dude. <laughs> squeeze <laughs> that. <was good. laughs> Factors in the fucking diapers and not fucking diapers. Hey, uh, so Flowers video, the 30th, uh, premiere link listed below. Mm -hmm. Be sure to tap the fuck in. Be notified for the premiere. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Uh, other stuff. What else? That's all date-wise we have. All date-wise, but... Um, date-wise. Shout out Bert and Ernie. This is a this is going to be a triple header today. Yeah, we're working we're hard today, and this header. wasn't even part of our plan. This is this is just something that we had to whip together real quick. Well, I was just figuring it out because I was it like, man, sense. it's going to be such a time crunch, and, and I don't know what's going to happen between now and next Sunday, and yeah, we don't know who's going to be busy doing what, and then you're going to have to be ripping and running. You get back from vacation, and it, it just makes more sense. Makes way me. more sense. I'm totally with it. But yeah, to, to Chad's point, we got uh, in reality in 28 minutes we have a a booked episode coming through uh which in it'll be out before this one so it's crazy as fuck that's so weird that's so yeah. crazy uh but anyway it's all because of my vacation uh my birthday i'm out of town but when i get back y'all get this and then it's back to normal we got a lot of things coming as always but right now in the time warp we're in let's just mm -hmm. call it time warp i'm done with that yeah time warp -na 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 -na. <laughs> -na 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 -na. <laughs> Uh, me and Chad should beatbox more often. I only have one beatbox, and it's the one I, I like always when you do. do it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely it. It's the only one I got, dude. Dude, and you've done it. And, I, and I have to do it like that, and that looks really pause worthy on this mic. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome to the time warp. Like I said, it's probably, welcome to the time warp. It's there all premeditated go. shit, man. I'm it's, so premeditated. We hope y'all enjoy the other two episodes that y'all saw last week while I was about to go out of town. But in reality, I just got back into town. But we shot this the day before I go out of town for the day I got back into town for y'all, so we didn't have to work that extra hard. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the time warp. Welcome to the time warp. Welcome but, to the time warp. Welcome to the time warp. Well, rap here. don't work. It's back to Pluto. Yeah, back you know I mean? to Welcome Pluto. To the time I like how you made, Welcome uh, to the time I like warp. how you made a two-syllable word, a three-syllable word. Pluto. So and and Pluto. Then that's a planet. That's you not a time warp. Pluto. I don't know <laughs> Pluto. Pluto. You yeah, know what dog. I'm saying? It's like a dog from Mickey Mouse. Pluto. Pluto. Shot Pluto. From, Pluto. Who was he? Was he? I, I think he just Pop made that up. No, that's Brutus. No, it's not Brutus. It's no? Pluto. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. I'm with it. We got time to fill. Google I machine. Hurry. Let's see. Papa Bluto. Let's see if this is real. I thought it was Brutus. Over under. Bruno. It's Bruno. Nope. Uh, you know what's funny? We're both wrong. When I typed in Papa Bluto, it says Bluto or Brutus. And it says after, so it's the, both. after the theatrical Popeye cartoon series, Bluto's name was changed to Brutus. So we both watched. Neither both one white. of us ever watched pop, uh, pop pie. <laughs> Chat chicken pop pie. That's like the second. Oh. Uh, yeah, dude, Amy makes the best chicken well, pot pie. Uh, Mel makes a great one. Mel Ooh, make the best competition. Stuff. So that they make the best pot pies. Shout out pot pies. Shout bro. out pot pies, bro. I didn't like them when I was little, but I love them I now. I didn't either. I was like. <sighs> Uh, that's why I'm we still a child though. Uh, <laughs> see how random we get. Uh, that we just literally we wanted to throw something out here. It's called time warp. We can't put no dates out or talk about anything that's relevant because of that reason. Mm -hmm. A week from now, it may not be relevant. But what is relevant is that premiere link listed below. Flowers video. Chad Arms. Faye Eastwood. City Paper. Yeah, I said it. Chad Arms. Faye Eastwood. City Paper. Mm -hmm. Flowers. The thirtieth. Tap in premiere link. Uh, 
Yeah, we got work to do. We're getting out of here. Chad, uh, in the meantime, in between time, y'all know what it is. Chad Arms TV. I got some shit to say.com. Uh, Anything else? Chatty? Shout out Popeyes. Yes, and, shout and Popeye. To, shout out to Popeye. Popeye and Popeye. <laughs> and Brutus and Bluto. Brutus the Blue Barber Beefcake. Welcome to the Time Warp. We're out of here. Chat arms. Get us. Bow. The, the, the beach. We got beers. <laughs>